It's a matter of great privilege for all of us that at the beginning of their career, 68 IRSC probationers, including five lady officers, have been given this opportunity to meet Honorable President of India. I take pride in introducing this highly motivated group of brilliant officer trainees who are set for a career with Indian Railways. The present group of IRSE probationers hail from 12 states. 18 of them are postgraduate in different disciplines of civil engineering. Their training gets completed in June 14, three months from now, when they will be ready to face the challenges of active service. Sir, during the initial 78 weeks of training, these officer trainees have been provided inputs on Indian Railways, how we perform, its vision and mission, its structure, their position in the organization, role and responsibilities, and are also exposed to management concepts in some of the premier management institutes within India and practical work in the field. Sir, on behalf of the 2011 batch of Indian Railway Service of Engineers, I am honored to give a brief glimpse of training and share some of our experiences thus far. It is on 10th of December 2012 that we are formally inducted into this great service at Irisa in Pune. The day has individually and collectively changed our lives forever. The journey of every railway officer starts with a foundation program at National Academy of Indian Railways, Vadodara. There, we learn the complex working system of Indian Railways through topics like train operations and safety, finance, law and personal management. Indian Railways as an organization is quite unique and demands specialized technical expertise for which training at Irisane has prepared the groundwork in a very structured way. There, we were introduced to technical subjects like rail technology, mechanized track maintenance, works and contract management and passenger amenities. During our field training, we have traveled throughout the length and breadth of the country which made us realize the unifying role which Indian Railways is playing, also the tremendous commitment and determination of railway men that lies behind the scenes. We railway engineers define ourselves by our capability to create in several national projects that we got an opportunity to see in the first hand. We bore witness to the creation of world's tallest bridge on Chenab, Peer Panjal Tunnel in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. We saw the successful efforts of railway engineers to tame the mighty Brahmaputra for connecting the Arunachal Pradesh with the rest of our nation at the Bogeyville Bridge in Assam for the fourth time. As railway engineers, we interacted with the local people at these places and we found the happiness in their faces. And sir, this gave us immense satisfaction. We are a new nation, 1895, when almost your services also began, if I understand correctly, around 1890. An eminent Bengali Surendranath Banerjee first conceptualized the concept of Indian national in, in nationalism by describing in his Congress presidential address at Pune, a nation in the making. And still that process is on. We are the youngest nation, but oldest civilization. And those who are contributing to build up this nation, you have joined the band of those dedicated persons whom we call public servants. As I was mentioning to you, the same job, the same thing, the same trade, same practice can be looked at from different angularities. When I was a student, I got a very beautiful lesson from my teacher, school teacher, at a very young age. He told me a story to teach me something that a passerby is passing through a road and he found that some people are breaking the stones 
So he asked the first person who was breaking a stone, that what are you doing? He said, can't you see? I am breaking the stone. Then he asked the second man, what are you doing? He is also breaking the stone. But his reply was more suggestive, that I am earning my livelihood, earning my wages by breaking the stone. And when the third man was asked, he replied, I am paving the way for people. And my teacher advised me, have that attitude. Yes, earning livelihood is important. Describing a thing as a matter of fact is important. But along with that, vision is important. You must have that vision. You must have that attitudinal approach that I am one of those very few who have got the opportunity to serve one billion plus people through Indian railway services. 